Incredible. Nobody, I mean nobody, in the history of our sport has ever won the 100 freestyle and 200 breaststroke. Heck, I don't even know swimmers that do that. You're either born a sprint freestyler or you're born a breaststroker. It's impossible to be both. You just can't do it. Now, I know you sometimes see a Caleb Russell can swim breaststroke, but not this. You couldn't pick two opposite events than breaststroke and freestyle. And Rowdy, again, we mentioned in prelims, she blasted out past Lily King there by two plus seconds, but King throwing it down in that opening 50 by almost a second. And that's what she did this morning. Exactly, and it's almost mimicking what happened this morning. 31-5, by the way, going out for Lily King. So she's a second faster going out, but so is Kate Douglas. And Kate Douglas outsplit King and everybody else the last three 50s in this 200 breaststroke. So she's coming on. And boy, they are way out, hell, way out there ahead of everybody else. 7-6 for Lily King. She's gonna make Kate Douglas earn this if she's gonna beat her. The world champion and one with a world of promise in this race coming on strong. King and Douglas battling everybody else in a race right now, it seems, for third. Wow. Lily King, you know what? I, I, I love Lily King. I love watching her swim. Always have. She's got that explosive athleticism, great presence, and she's not going to go down without a fight. She actually just, oh, Douglas out splitter there, 36-5 to 36-8, but not by much. Boy, these two are going to go fast. Lily King with all their pedigree at the shorter distances proved it last year at the Worlds, winning gold in this event, trying to make it stand up against the younger challenger, Kate Douglas down the stretch here. Can King hang on and hold off and fend off Douglas? I think King's going to do it. Just meters to go. The reigning world champ gets the national title here at home by about three tenths over Kate Douglas in a thriller. There's still nobody that has ever won the 100 freestyle 200 plus goals in the history of our sport. And Lily King proves why She's, in my opinion, the greatest female breaststroker in history. Alongside maybe a Rebecca Sony. I'm never going to forget what Rebecca Sony has done to the sport, but come on. I mean, what fortitude to be able to hang in there and do what she did against everybody's pick going into this race. I think even with Lily King in here, Jason, going into this last turn, everybody picked her. I guarantee it to go by Lily King this last 50. It didn't happen. That's the second fastest time in the world. By the way, for Kate Douglas, excuse me, for Lily King, the third fastest in the world for Kate Douglas. It's a new personal best for Douglas, but not enough to dethrone Lily King, who's with Kira. Lily, what a battle that was between you and Kate Douglas the entire race. What is your takeaway from the race? Uh, did that one the hard way. Uh, Kate's, Kate's a hell of a competitor and uh, always exciting to race her for sure. So, uh, yeah, second fastest time ever, so I'm pretty excited. And you know who else is excited are these fans. <laughs> How special is it for you to race in front of these Indiana fans? Well, I think we've got three Hoosier groups in the pool. We've got my teammates over there <laughs> and my team over there and our parents over there. So. Uh, I, I love racing here. Any, anyone from Indiana loves racing here. It's, it's the best pool in the world, and uh, all, always a pleasure to be here. All of them are cheering you on to that finish. Now, we know you for a lot of success in the 100. How are you able to also find so much success in the 200? Uh, I think it, it just comes down to, to swimming brave and um, not, being, not being scared to go for it, and for me, that works. So, uh, again, it hurt a lot, but uh, the results were really good, so I'm happy. Well, you swum brave tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Crowd here in Indiana loving it, especially when one of their own delivers here in the Hoosier State. And Lily King 
first to the wall there to grab that national title. Again, Kate Douglas takes about two tenths off her personal best. Good enough to run second. Annie Laser there in third, followed by Caitlin Doble. Lily King loves to race and loves a challenge. Loves winning too. She's a national champ again. Olympic swim trials coming just around the way here from IU Natatorium at Lucas Oil Stadium coming in about a year's time. There'll be folks on the podium there to earn spots to Paris here. Athletes celebrating national championships and potential trips to the Worlds in Japan. Annie Laser again on the podium. Bronze for her, Rowdy. Again, going to step away at the end of the year, so Potentially, last big time meet for her if she doesn't make it through to Japan this summer. We'll see about if she gets the opportunity to swim elsewhere. Yeah, I mean, that's a, a, a great way to end her career at an incredible meet like the Pan American Games. But boy, that is one tough cookie. I tell you. I wouldn't. I mean, she is just unbelievable. I mean, she's my first pick on dodgeball. That's for sure. <laughs> and Lily King, another victory. Kate Douglas, though, looks like she certainly has a lot of room to grow, you feel like, Rowdy, in this event. Yeah, I, I, you know, she, she's not real happy about getting second. But you know what? Something to swim for. How about another look at a B final here for the men's 200 meter breaststroke? Zach Stubbledy Cook 